Have you ever walked into a pharmacy and the pharmacist told you, take this medicine with food, take this medicine after food, and you ever wondered why? Hmm, let's stay tuned in order to find out why. So, what's up guys? Hi, how are you? Um, welcome to Rally Pharma. This is World's Best Doctors channel. I know guys, you know that, right? Yeah, so if you're new here, hi, my name is Linda and I'm a pharmacist. Pleased to meet you. Welcome here. In this channel, it's all about health and everything about your medicine. So feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much. Um, in today's video, we are continuing with our series of what you should know about your medication. And today I'm going to talk about something really important, which is medication and food. Yeah, so you've ever walked into a pharmacy and then the pharmacist told you um, take this medicine with food, take this medicine after food, avoid these types of food. So yeah, let's find out why. So first of all, um, let's talk about the interaction between uh, food and medicine. So um, foods usually interact with medicines in different ways and this is where you're told um, take this medicine with food. So with food. First of all, the reason why you might be told to take a medicine with food, it's because some medicines actually corrode the stomach lining or your intestines and then they can cause you ulcers. For example, uh, the clofenac, most commonly used um, drug for treating pain and inflammation, the doctor will, the, the pharmacist will actually tell you to take it with food in order to protect your stomach lining from getting ulcers. Another reason why you might be told to take medicine with or without food is because of the um, effect of the food on absorption. So some foods usually increase absorption of the food. For example, um, you might be told that when taking certain medications like anti they can tell you to actually take it with fatty foods to increase absorption, which means that it will just increase the amount of um, medicine that is available in your system for it to be, for it to be able to work effectively. And some medicines are told to avoid certain um, foods like maybe great grapefruit, uh, milk, like they can tell you avoid milk, they can tell you avoid taking alcohol, they can tell you avoid taking some foods. This is because they reduce the amount of drug that will be absorbed in your body, hence they will render the medicine ineffective, I've given examples. So those are some of the reasons why you're told that. Now let us look at um, the terms before food, after food, during food. What do they actually mean? Like I'll, tell you, I'll give you this medicine. For example, I'll go back to our diclofenac. You remember it from my previous video. So it's written, diclofenac 50 milligrams one times two, which means take one tablet every 12 hours then after food. So now, um, if you're told to take after food or during food, what does it mean? So during food, it means that you take as you, one, it means one, as you take the food, you can actually take the medicine or within 30 minutes after which you've eaten, then you can actually take the food. So that is after food or with food. So if you're told to take this medicine with food or after food, that is the time frame. Then if you're told to take um, medicine on an empty stomach or um, you avoid meals with that or take it before food this means that uh, you can either take the food when you've not eaten anything or two hours after you eat or two hours before you eat then you can take the medicine so for example i'm supposed to swallow this diclofenac uh, sorry let me not use diclofenac because diclofenac is with food so for example i've been given drug a and i'm told uh, take it on an empty stomach it means two hours before i eat i take the medicine or two hours after i have eaten then i take the medicine this is because um within let's say two hours most of your actually food has been digested and you'll actually it will not actually be able to interfere with the absorption of the food another thing um they can tell you like take with acidic foods so with acidic foods you can take like maybe fruit juices maybe they can tell you to take with fatty foods so fatty foods you can do milk you can do cheese in order to increase the absorption of the medicine yeah another thing that i'd like to point out about medicines and food is the way um like someone can tell you take this maybe with food or maybe with a lot of water so some people usually take like very very hot food or very very hot drinks then they reconstitute maybe the medicines with them maybe it's for a baby or a child then you actually pour it in very very hot water or you use very very like a very very hot drink no that is not acceptable it's supposed to be like just warm because um very very high temperatures 
will actually destroy most of the medicines. So when you put like maybe in very hot coffee or hot tea and then you're putting in the uh, medicine or hot porridge, you're putting the medicine and giving it to the child, you're actually affecting um, the medicine, you're affecting the stability of the medicine and this one can actually render the medicine ineffective because of the effects of heat on actually uh, medicine. So when you're told to actually reconstitute or to just um, Reconstituting means just maybe those powders for children and then you're told maybe to actually put in water and then you give to the child, yeah? So do not use very, very hot water as it will affect the uh, stability of the medicine and might render the medicine ineffective or it can actually, like sometimes heat usually affects the medicine such that it breaks down the medicine to produce like some toxic metabolites which can actually harm the a person that you're administering the medicine to like ideally the patient yeah so i think this is it about foods and medicines where you're told this food not that food it with yeah this kind of food so ideally this is what i just wanted to point out and i hope that this video has helped you such that next time you're in such a situation then you'll be able to actually know what it is that um you've actually been told so thank you so much guys for watching Please share, please comment, leave a comment on anything you want me to uh, talk about regarding your medicines. And also, if you have any questions on this video, please leave them in the comment section. I'll be able to respond. So thank you so much, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.